Ah, yes, the MCU. What once was a powerhouse of cinema has now become a bit of a joke. Some garbage TV shows, a bunch of garbage movies, a bunch of weird nonsense, way too much identity politics. And so here we are with Deadpool and Wolverine coming to shake things up. Let's talk about how it does. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Before we get started, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you'd like, you can share it, all that good stuff really, really helps. Uh, let's talk about Deadpool and Wolverine. So, if at any point you were worried about Deadpool's entry into Marvel World being a dumbed down or like just barely scratching the surface of being R-rated, uh, you can rest easy because this is a vulgar, bloody, nasty, disgusting movie, and I actually loved every second of it. I feel like it's getting kind of mixed reviews from people I've spoken to about it, but I freaking loved it. I actually think this is the best of the Deadpool movies. I really loved the first one. I thought the second one was pretty good, and I think this one is just as good as the first one, if not a little bit better. Uh, what it doesn't have is the same surprise, but what it does have is this movie just this movie just doesn't seem to give a rip, um, and and I think that actually works fairly well for it. I I adore Logan. I think Logan is one of the best comic book movies ever made, and I love it. I will always love that movie, no matter how many times. Deadpool makes fun of it. I will always love that movie. What I will say is that um, this movie like starts off by immediately taking a dump on Logan by having, and spoiler alert for this entire review because I'm gonna spoil everything including some major cameos. Um, Deadpool digging up Logan's adamantium skeleton and then beating a bunch of TVA guys to death with it is pretty great. Uh, at first I was kind of uncomfortable with it because of how much I love that movie. And, uh, and yeah, but this movie just doesn't pull any punches. And I think that's kind of what they needed to do. Um, they, it's also like very anti-woke, which I <laughs> kind of appreciate who, as somebody who's fed up with that nonsense, uh, this movie dumps on male feminists. It dumps on, um, just the woke in general. It dumps on like the current slate of Marvel films. It jokes about like the Blade movie that might not actually might not actually ever happen. Um, it it rips it rips Marvel up and down, which I think is kind of great. Um, while also having some really truly great moments. I think speaking of Blade, I think the Blade cameo with Wesley Snipes was incredible. I thought Electra being in there was like really funny because she's taking it really seriously, which is kind of perfect and, and silly. Uh, obviously, the Channing Tatum Gambit cameo is is great, but I love that they actually like made them a part of the story. Um, what I will say is there's a couple things I didn't particularly love. I didn't love the villain. I think uh, I think the one thing that really this movie was kind of disappointing at, in is that it didn't show like what actually happened to. Wolverine and resulting in the death of the X-Men, it was very much a lot of uh, tell but not much show. And I think if they had maybe made the movie like 10 minutes longer and actually shown some of that, I think it really would have like hit that emotional center that it needed to. Um, some of the jokes run a little bit long. The joke about dog pool tends to play itself out uh, a little and, and just run too long. Um, but overall, I, I love this movie. I laughed hysterically at multiple points throughout the film. I thought that Hugh Jackman was great. This version of this like disappointing failure Wolverine. Obviously, him in the yellow and blue costume is incredible. When he finally puts the mask on at the end, it's it's great and it feels like it's actually earned. Uh, yeah, so I, I really, really, really enjoyed this movie. I think I liked it more than I thought I would. And, uh, and, and I think... I think the awareness that it has um, to like just dump all over everything Marvel um, at this point is great. Um, 
we'll see what happens with the Marvelverse moving forward. Obviously, the big announcement that Robert Downey Jr. is going to return to play Doctor Doom is a thing that's happening now. Okay, I'm interested to see how all that plays out. So, I, I think I think it's exciting times for Marvel. I'm not super excited about uh, Captain America. Uh, not New World Order, Brave New World. Um, excited to see Harrison Ford enter the MCU, but I, I don't have super high hopes for that movie because I thought the Falcon and the Winter Soldier was pretty mediocre. So um, that's where we are. Love Deadpool and Wolverine. Thought it was great. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the channel, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next Wednesday at 9 a.m.